So this is the next power cell. And part of the game is called Maker's End. So I've just completed the Maker's End level. Where you need to head is to the top of this building here. To the very tippy top. So it doesn't unlock until you've completed ma Maker's End, I believe. I'm not sure. That's the campfire I, I load in from. I've also done a video already of Gaia Prime, which is the hardest one of the five to collect. So that's right up at the top of the mountains. I've already done that video, so let's go ahead and show you this one now. So let's come out of the map. That's where I am at the moment. I've just killed the Deathbringer there, so you need to kill this. I used fire arrows. Let's go ahead and sh search it, see what it's got. It'll list everything there. So what you do now is you just follow the the footstep. Looks tight, but I can squeeze through. Let's squeeze through to a cutscene. Saves. Wait, wait, wait. Three hundred and fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? So just keep following the beacon. Quite a few collectibles down here. A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one in way. I didn't notice this. To kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With a what was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. So just keep following these beacons. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Another cave in. Some collectibles there. If you want to go and search all the rooms you can, there's quite a few more than one. So that was done on purpose obviously, so... Use this ladder, she prompts you to use it. The next bit you might get stuck with, you can jump up there and go on top, but it doesn't lead anywhere on here. No. Nope. She does favour that one. If you turn her right, she will favour this one though. That's it, the next bit. Follow it again. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? So I think this is the tower. 
and it's a massive tower so just keep going up collectibles as well on the way up. Free stuff's always good. Let's keep going up. Through another doorway. Just go steady because there are places where you can drop to your death. That looks like one of them. quite see down there so let's just run at it. Frost on my eyelashes. Another collectible there. I think you can play these at a later date. So this is another slightly tricky bit coming up. So there you can see that nut a bolt sticking out of the wall and then that one and that ledge that's where you want to go and over to this ledge and then up same again watch up that you don't drop to your death it's easily done Let's see if I can find the bolt You missed that one then, but that's good enough. I think this is just a, sl a slight fall there, yep. Yeah. Another chest. I'd have to ditch something. It's also saved there as well, just in case you do fall to your death. So where do we go now? Back down there. So it looks like a jump, yep. Yeah. That's why it's saved. Generally when it saves it means that there's going to be a difficult bit coming up. Up. Keep going up. Follow the uh, square in front of me there that says 46. Same thing again. I'm going to have to look for that. There's another collectible there. So let's sprint and jump see where we need to go from there she's reaching up so that's where she wants to go she wants to jump sideways no, I don't want you to do that. Come on, drop down. There we go, across. It's a little bit tricky sometimes. She seems to not want to do what you'd want her to do. Take it really slowly round here don't need to jump across that gap so we're slowly getting there another chest there take it steady and just collect everything as you work it your way up nothing special they all add up though so now we're going through this hole Very close to the top now. Another chest and a massive drop. So this is a walk to the edge here. 
and press square. Pull yourself up. Just do it slowly again. Now this ramp. any collectible stuff there. There we go, there's one. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. <laughs> All right. So. Made it saved now, so we're on the very top. Collect that nut. There's a bolt sticking out of the wall there again. So this is the way you want to go up first. You can complete Maker's End level over there after you've done this. So I think it goes to a cutscene for you to get off the top of the building. So you'd have to come all the way up again from a save point. Let's just take it steady. This is round the back of the top of the building. So, this is the view you get. We're not quite as high as the highest mountains, but not far off. Let's just have the, a look at this. This is the good thing about this game, the vistas. So let's collect that cell. I keep finding these power cells. What do they do? So the easy way down is to go over to this and repel down, triangle. Another vista, a bit lower down. So let's just complete Maker's End level. If you want to stay with us and watch this. Bad data has been erasing this device. Do you wish to deploy item privileges to recover flash data? Oh yes, I believe I do. A file has been recovered. So let's just scan this. to uh it's been years where's your legal team ted no need i dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed i assume your data confirms us all right this promises to be interesting perhaps we could have lunch brought in you know get reacquainted i know you ted you screwed something up to something big or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here so spit it out there's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killing robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another son has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. 
that consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I do? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the old ones fell, but life went on, or, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Les. There has to be another way. If there were a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Les. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. This is what I really like about this game, It's uh, the resolution is the best I've ever seen so far in any game. Look at that vista, the clouds are a bit funny, but I've gone for resolution over performance, so that's why it's a little bit twitchy. But that's that done, Maker's End is done, so now there's a turbo lift, so you don't have to go all that way back down. Well, there was a turbo up. lift. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? Try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the old ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that feral robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know 
is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. So, that's it, guys. So, um, that's Maker's End done. Let's just show you on the map. I can't show you on the map. It won't go. So, that's so that's it. You get a choice to talk to Silence. You do spend most of the game now corresponding with him, and he does come and help you at some point in the game. And, uh, yeah, when you, when you need him most, he's always there to give you some helpful, helpful advice. So that's it, guys. So thanks for watching, and uh, check back soon. Cheers.